When you create an app in Plasmic, you automatically start off with this page layout component. And this is automatically added to all new pages in your app. So if we go ahead and create a new page here, you can see it's added here as well. And this ensures that your site has a consistent navigation on all pages out of the box. Inside of this, you'll find this is where your main body contents of the page goes. And we can see from the outline that the page layout is always the outermost component. And inside of that is a slot for your main body contents. And this is what can vary from page to page. So if I go back to the first page, I can customize it to look different. So if I want to make edits to the page layout, I can go ahead and double click on it to start editing it. And if I zoom in a little bit more, you can see we're now selecting this other component inside of the page layout component called the rich app layout. And this is a core component that exposes a number of settings for you to customize. So for instance, let's say I want to change the app title. So my awesome app. Most commonly, you'll probably want to customize the nav links here. So I can go ahead and add another item for maybe that new page that we just created. And I can call this new page. And I can also add other customizations here, like only conditionally showing it if a certain condition is met or adding nested menu items. I can also change it to be along the side instead of the top, and I can customize the color scheme. So let's say I want to get a dark scheme here or a completely custom color. In addition, I can select the logo and change it to another icon. And the last thing here at this action children slot, if I zoom out a little bit, we can see that at the bottom, it gets revealed when I select it. And this is just an optional space where I can add any other kind of content that I want, such as uh, a button here for doing some action. All right. Some other parts of the page layout component are if we actually try and select the body content, this is the slot where the main body contents go. And we can see that this is inside of another component called the loading boundary component. So this is kind of a special advanced component that you probably won't be using all over the place. But what it does is it lets us show a loading state as long as there is any data that is still pending for the page. So we can preview what that looks like by clicking force loading. And this shows the loading spinner. This is what you would see if the page is in a loading state. And now we can go ahead and customize this. So for instance, let's say we want to add some text right below it. I'll center this and I'll call it, let's say, loading and add a bit of spacing. So that's how you can customize a loading state. And let's turn that off now. Now, how does Plasmic know to insert this page layout component on all new pages? The way this works is we have set it as the default page wrapper. So to do that, let's see how that works. I'm going to go to the components left sidebar tab. This is where you can find a list of all of the components in your project. In this case, we only have this one component, so that's the only thing that's listed. And if you right click on it, you can either set it or unset it as the default page wrapper. So if you wanted to use an entirely different component as your default page wrapper, you can go ahead and do so.